But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. Then he said to the paralytic, Stand up, take your bed, and go home. The Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 9, verse 6. See here one of the great physician's mightiest acts. He has the power to forgive sin. While he lived here below, before the ransom had been paid, before the blood had been literally sprinkled on the mercy seat, he had power to forgive sin. Has he not power to do it, now that he is dead? What power must dwell in him, who to the utmost farthing has faithfully discharged the debt of his people? He has boundless power, now that he has finished transgression, and made an end of sin. If you doubt it, see him as he rises from the dead. Behold him in ascending splendor, raised to the right hand of God. Hear him plead before the Eternal Father, pointing to his wounds, urging the merit of his sacred passion. What power there is to forgive here. He has ascended on high, and received gifts for men. He is exalted on high to give repentance and remission of sin. The most crimson of sins are removed by the crimson of his blood. At this moment, dear brothers and sisters, whatever your sinfulness, Christ has power to pardon, power to pardon you and millions such as you are. A simple word will speak it. He has nothing more to do to win your pardon. All the work of atonement is done. He can, in answer to your tears, forgive your sins now, and make you know. He can breathe into your soul at this very moment a peace with God, which passes all understanding, which shall spring from the perfect remission of your many iniquities. Do you believe that? I truly hope that you do. May you experience now the power of Jesus to forgive sin. Do not waste any time in applying to this great physician of the soul, but hasten to him with these words. Jesus, Lord and Master, hear my cry. Save me, heal me with a word. Fainting at your feet I lie. You, my whispered plaint, has heard. <laughs>